issue of critical internet resources was a source of frustration and acrimony throughout the World Summit on uh, the Information Society. Successive discussions in the non-threatening environment of the IGF have helped. We may not agree about the best way forward, but at least we have a better understanding of the reasons why we disagree. The influence of the IGF can be seen in changes to the CCTLD and ICANN environments over the past five years. The IGF in its previous, at previous countries highlighted the importance of internationalized domain names in bringing the internet to those who are not served by Latin scripts. And in the critical internet resources main session here in Vilnius on Wednesday, we heard from the Russian CCTLD, which has recently introduced its Cyrillic IDN CCTLD. The multi-stakeholder environment provided by the IGF enables policy discussions to be informed by real-world examples from the technical community, industry, and civil society. Again, in the CIR session on Wednesday, we heard from the German government, from vendors and internet service providers, as well as a number of resource allocators about their experiences of introducing IPv6. We also heard how the Haitian CCTLD had kept going through the worst natural disaster experienced by that country through a combination of offshore servers and cooperation within the technical community. AUDA looks forward to participating in the work of the CSTD in helping to identify poten potential improvements to the IGF. Our study of the consultation responses on the IGF shows that 87% of respondents want the IGF to continue as is or with some minor changes which can be achieved without major structural reform. Throughout its five-year mandate, the IGF, through a combination of its flexible, stru flexible structure and the leadership of Nitin Desai and Marcus Kummer, has shown itself willing and able to adapt in response to feedback. For example, last year, people felt that there was not enough of a link between the workshops and the main sessions. This year, by designating feeder workshops, that link was made, and it created a different type of dialogue in the main sessions. The discussions were actually illustrated by many examples of what is really happening on the ground. Finally, AUDA recognizes the contribution made by the technical community during all of the IGFs. The technical community has been generous with funding, in kind donations, and expertise. We hope that the technical community will be recognized as a stakeholder group in its own right during the upcoming discussions.